Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to week five of the 2020 college football season. Tonight, your week four is Demon Deacons at home at bb and Field. Take on the number 21 ranked Florida State Seminoles. For Wake Forest, they are 0-1 in ACC play after last week's debacle against Virginia Tech. So, with that behind them and this ahead of them, there's only one thing to do, forget about the past and look to the future. But the Florida State offense and defense will not lay down lightly. Wake Forest has had trouble defending the pass all year long, even against smaller schools like Tulane. And even though they're coming out winners, it's something you want to see heavy improvement on week by week. So, with Florida State and Nate Little, a quarterback, he can pass, he can run, they're going to have to be on their toes. And Wake Forest is going to have to play all 60 minutes and probably even more if they want to beat Florida State, something they have not done in a couple years now. So with that said, we welcome you to BB&T Field in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Week 5 is here, Wake Forest is here, Florida State's here, and ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have a ball game for you tonight. We're glad you made it. 6-3 will pick things up, second quarter, 10 minutes to go, and all field goals so far for both offenses. How about J.D. Horton? We haven't heard his name in really at all this year, but guess what? Richie Miles finds him here on second and eight for a about 13 yard gain to bring him the set of chains. Second and 12 now, nine minutes to go. Wake Forest at their own 30. Second quarter, slow paced game so far. Miles looking, nowhere to throw, rolls right. He still has nowhere to throw, takes off, fumbles, balls on the ground, but Will Williams, the right guard, is going to pick it up. So good awareness by him, and it's still Deacon Ball. Third and 11 now after that fumble. Eight and a half to play. Wake down three, Miles, three-step drop, had a man open in J.D. Horn in the flats, but goes to Ryan Caldwell. Big-time play, big-time player. Caldwell's third catch for 30 yards tonight. Miles nearing 100. He's in 92 so far. Caldwell, good job to get one foot in and keep possession of that ball. Third and three now past midfield. Six and a half to play in the first half. Read option gives it off to Brooks. And Brooks will pick up eight in a new set of chains. Fourth third down conversion for the Demon Deacon offense tonight. Five and a half to play. Play action now. Miles looking. That's Isaac Charles. First down reception eight yards later. And the Deacons are driving. They had this ball with about ten minutes in the second quarter. We're down to four minutes now. So six minute drive at least. Second and two miles finds nothing. Takes off, gets tripped up by the shoelaces, but falls forward for a first down. Miles seventh rush, twelve yards so far. Nothing spectacular by his rushing standards. 340 to play. Play clock down to three. Get, they get the snap off. Hand off to Brooks. And Jason Brooks is down about the three yard line. Maybe the four, six yard rush. Four of seven. Demon Deacons are on third down so far. 220 to play. Third and four from the four and a half yard line. They're still down three. Miles looking. Looking. Finds nothing. Rolls right. Stiff arm. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Deacons. Wake Forest for the first time since the third drive of the game for them. They have taken the lead back, and they take a 10-6 lead. Studio update, let's go to Georgia Tech, Louisville. How about an ACC matchup with the top 20 ranked teams? Louisville, Georgia Tech, they are tied at 17. But Georgia Tech, they would come out on all cylinders, and they would start to run away, and they would eventually destroy Louisville 34 to 17 so Georgia Tech wins that is another ACC win for them something Wake Forest is trying to do at the halftime stats here you can see the only thing the Knolls have on the Deacons are passing yards and it's still not by a lot rush yards time of possession very clearly in the Demon Deacon favor let's see if they can have that 
a little bit more helpful in the second half with more time of possession and maybe some passing yards. Second and 13, this is Nate Little. We said he can run, we said he can pass. And how about the first Knowles highlights you're gonna see tonight in the second half? A little late, but guess what? Maybe it's just right for them. 14 minutes to go, Nate Little's gonna take off again. Blocks one, and he actually gets a block, not blocks one, and he uh, gets 22 on that play. So, picked up a great block from his wide receiver right there. Spin move on a Demon Deacon secondary, and they are driving. Second and three now, 13 and a half to play. They're down 10. Little, read option, quarterback keeper. He's got a first down. He's got more Simmons with a big hit. But Nate Little hangs on, and it's all Nate Little this drive. First and 10 from the Demon Deacon 22. Little three-step drop. Finds his man Palmer. He gets laid out, but Mark Palmer hangs on 14 yards. However, they would end that possession in a field goal. And with that said, well, guess what? They have a lead now. 24-17 Georgia Tech. We said the Yellow Jackets would win. This is only the start of it. So Georgia Tech, you can see that stats there. That's the last time you're going to see those stats. Let's get back to our game here in Winston-Salem. Deacons tie the game. They're all tied at 13. Florida State ball. Third and three. Six minutes to go. Little takes off. Nowhere to go this time. He's sacked for two-yard loss. Mark Cook on the D-line for the Demon Deacons. That's his first sack of the night. Shreds the double team they try to put on him. But from the 35-yard line, this kid for Florida State's got a leg. 52-yard attempt. Kick is up. And it is well through the uprights. Florida State takes a three-point lead. 16-13, 5.30 to play here in the third from BB&T Field. That ball had at least 10 yards on it or more. How about Nate Little again? Quarterback read option. Shakes one, shakes two. Still on the move down to the 22-yard rush. Down to the 25-yard line. My apologies for a 22-yard rush. Nate Little having the Demon Deacon defense doing anything they want uh, to allow him at least 15 yards on every run. Speaking of running, Nate Little, 15 yards here as well on a first and 10 quarterback keeper. Looked like there was a design run by him, and it was. Third and five now from the five. Florida State up three, two minutes to go here in the third. Little looking, has a man, and it's a touchdown. Florida State on all cylinders right now, up 10. Isaac Charles, the Deacons need an answer, and they probably need it fast because this Florida State offense has come alive. Good play there by Charles, picks up a first down. However, some trouble gets Richie Miles in the third and 19 spot. Miles needs a prayer. He finds Travis Jones open on the left side of the field near the hash marks. He was uncovered his whole route, miscommunication in the Knowles defense, and it allows a first and ten. Now second and nine for Wake Forest. We're in the fourth quarter now, 13 minutes to go. Miles five-step drop, intercepted by Florida State. What a play there by Shula. For the Knowles, he read the quarterback size, and he made it happen. Florida State up 10 with ball. Third and eight, Little gets sacked again. Sack number five on the night for the Deacon offense. But guess what? They send their kicker out. This one, 50-yard attempt. If you made 52 of these, you should make 50, and that's exactly what happens. Michigan State, Notre Dame from Ann Arbor. How about Studio Update ranking the top five team in the nation? Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Michigan, though, on top, 35-28. We'll have more coverage of that game later on. Ten and a half to play in the game now. Wake Forest down by 13. Wake, uh, yeah, Wake Forest gave up a field goal. Florida State, they are still answering on all cylinders. First and ten. 
Miles looking, rolls out, finds Jason Brooks first down, Demon Deacons. Ten minutes to play, now under. 8.50 to play, third and 11, they need another big play here by a big time player. Look for Ryan Caldwell if possible. Miles looking, finds Travis Jones in a tight window and it had to be. Any earlier or later, in completion or an interception. Eric Schuler, the guy who made the interception, be on the watch for him this drive. Miles looking though, first and 10. He outruns Schuler, the guy who dove with his ankles and missed first down wake four is down 13 720 to play here in regulation deacons on the knolls 20 miles five step drop brooks slip screen gets blocks from the three dives end zone touchdown wake forest jason brooks dove from the four and he found the pylon touchdown deacons PAT would be successful and they're down six. Fourth quarter here, seven minutes to go. 26-20 FSU on top. They have ball handoff to Noah Potts. Potts has room. He's gonna bounce off a defender to the 39. First down, Florida State. First and 10 now from the 47 of Wake Forest. Little finds Mitchell. Mitchell bounces off a would-be defender eight yards later. Second and two now from the 40. They need to stop. The Deacon defense does. They get it, but the referee still rules Simmons there. A first down. First and 10. 5.50 to play in the fourth. Up by six still. Screen to Palmer. And Palmer's got room down the sideline. He's taken down at the 10 mark Palmer. First and 10, Florida State. And I formation now for the Knowles. Handoff. Noah Potts shakes one. Bounces off two. One man to beat Ricky Coles. Brings him down at the one. First and goal now leads to third and goal after two incompletions. What do the Knowles have here? I formation. Heavy set right. Little looking. Still looking. Touchdown, Florida State. Claude Walker, the fullback. Brandon Black was in coverage. You don't expect your secondary guy to cover a fullback, but when you're at the one, expect anything. Touchdown Knowles, they're up by 12. They go for two, they get it, and now they're up 14. Studio update. We said we would cover Michigan, Notre Dame. How about Ann Arbor? The Wolverines of Michigan take down Notre Dame at home. 35-28, Michigan 1-3, Notre Dame 2-2. Two and two. Back to our game, 5-11 to play here in regulation. Down 14, Wake Forest needs an answer. First play, Isaac Charles, 24 yards. How about over the shoulder throw where it had to be? Richie Miles got hit as he threw, but a very accurate pass nonetheless. First and 10, five-step drop, rolls right. Has a man, Travis Jones again. Ryan Caldwell's name has not been called at all in the second half. We'll see if they use him at all this drive. Four minutes to play. Miles three-step drop. Has a man. J.D. Horn over the middle of the field of the hash marks. First down Wake Forest. And they're at the Florida State 16. Down 14. 340 to play. Miles. Man in the backfield. That's Brooks. He goes up the middle of the field. But Miles finds Jason Bean first catch in the night for Bean. First and goal. Three straight failures though leads to fourth and goal. And they need this. Miles going to scramble. Down two and he gets it. He had two Florida State defenders behind him. He could have gone down very easily. They just did not attempt to tackle. So touchdown Deacons. Third and ten now. And when you need an answer, you need your players to come up big. Brandon Black, he busted coverage on the fullback for the touchdown, and he busts the coverage here on third and ten. Just never saw the ball. He probably lost it in the lights, got turned around, just like he did on the fullback touchdown. And the Knowles with that conversion end the game. They win this one 34-27 at BB&T.